Yeah, I did. Uh, you just made me feel like really ancient <laughs> now. Yeah, I know that was uh, that was something out of the blue. Yeah. Uh, my dad just wanted some child to play well, his young self, and he wanted someone who was tough with big legs. If your work gets appreciated, I think an actor's inning is longer than a star's inning, yeah. and I think. Uh, I just want to do roles which are out of my comfort zone. I always like characters which have a little grey shade to them or a little dark shade to them. I mean, I remember my favorite film is Dil Lagi, which I played uh, a character who's very aggressive, uh, who doesn't think much, who's always wants everything his way. And the second turning point was when things started going down in my life, and uh, I started kind of gave up in my life, you know. Th things should just surprise you when you hear a subject or when you read a subject. They sh things should surprise you, you know, because every storyline is very similar, hmm. but it's how the writer writes it from his point of view and makes it more interesting. You know? Hi guys, this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us Bobby Deol, who is all gearing up for his new release, Love Hostel. Welcome to Pink Villa, Bobby. It's lovely having you here, firstly. Thank you so much for having me here. Bobby, you know, if you look at it, this is actually your 45th year in the film industry. You made your debut with Dharamvi, which <laughs> okay, released in okay. 1977. Yeah, I did. I, you just made me feel like really <laughs> ancient now. Yeah, I know that was uh, that was something out of the blue. Yeah. Uh, my dad just wanted some child to play his young self and he wanted someone who was tough with big legs. So he asked me and I just said, yes, I will do it. I was like six years old or I don't know how many years old. And I was so excited. So that was, yes, my first experience facing the camera. Yeah, but how do you view this journey from there till Love Hostel? It's been amazing. I mean, uh, I've done all sorts of films. Yeah. Basically, I did a lot of commercial cinema, a lot of thrillers, action films a few comedies and uh, I guess uh, you just evolve with time and if you give yourself the chance to evolve and to learn and to improve yourself then you kind of get into the right direction and I think that was my hard work, my focus that has brought me to this, to, to, for, to, uh, has brought me today here sitting with you, talking to you and I think OTT platform has really helped me to create an, a place in many ways as an actor especially because I feel if your work gets appreciated I think an actor's inning is longer than a star's inning yeah. and I think uh, I just want to do roles which are out of my comfort zone and roles which people never expect to see me when they watch me on the screen so that's what I'm trying to do. And you know, like you said, in all this entire journey, you have played varied kind of character from a lover boy to a comic to the negative. Which one has been the most challenging and fascinating for you in terms of the characters? I always like characters which have a little grey shade to them or a little dark shade to them. I mean, I remember my favourite film is Dil Lagi, which I played uh, a character who's very aggressive, uh, who doesn't think much, who's always wants everything his way and can go to levels of being horrible and then eventually he realizes and tries to change himself. So I think that was a very interesting character in Dil Lagi which my brother directed. But then I've played uh, characters, I've done Shaheed where I played yeah. Shaheed Bhagat Singh's role and that was a challenging role for me because to play a man who the whole of India worships, people from outside the country think of him as such a martyr, as such a freedom fighter. So it was exciting and then I think uh, I just kept trying to do stuff where I faltered, I, I did some commercial cinema and then eventually now I'm just trying to do roles which are totally out of my comfort zone and uh, things which will, uh, when you see me, you will not be able to recognize me that easily because yeah. I want people not to look at Bobby but an actor who is supposed to be Bobby. And you know, you kick off your 45th year as such with Love Hostel, it's your first release of this year. Your character looks pretty dark and intense. Could you tell us something about getting into this space? Because, you know, it has a certain mindset from what we can see in the footage, which is very unlike what you are. Because I think it was all uh, uh, the discussions me and uh, Shankar had about how the look should be. And I kept telling him, you know, why don't I just keep a, a beard which is not, which is unruly, which is not being cut, nothing. My hair just growing long all, you know, nothing maintained because that kind of character he is, he has no time to look at himself as to be yeah. presentable. And uh, eventually the kind of character I was playing, then I had to do a little bit of prosthetic to have a burnt mark and things like that. So it created that whole look and uh, Shankar had a lot of input for that. And I was excited because I would be able 
to look so different, you know, yeah. and uh, it'll, it'll enhance the character, you know, it'll bring out the true feel of the character. Yeah. So I think that's why when you see these pictures, I look very different from what I am. And even the character traits are pretty dark in, in terms of the mindset that you have in the film. Like that's what something we saw in, in that it was visible. So what was the process of getting into that psyche for you? I think every person in, uh, doesn't think they're dark. Whenever we're living a life, we always think we're doing the right thing. We never see the dark side of us because we believe that is not dark. So I think everybody has good and bad in them. Yeah. But if you let the bad take over you and start believing that is good, is how I looked at this character, you know, because he has strong beliefs. If he believes, he has such strong beliefs that if he believes that person is wrong, then he will go against them. He will go to any level to destroy them. So that's the kind of person he is. He's seen a lot in his life, which has made him that way. People he worshipped, people who he respected, he lost in his life because of someone's mistake. And that became his mission is to not let that ever happen again. This is your second film with Shah Rukh Khan, the producer. How do you view this association? I think the uh, Red Chilies, uh, Shah Rukh, Gauri and uh, Gaurav, they've given me the best opportunities, I feel, as an actor. They gave me class of 83. Yeah. And uh, I was pe really, people really appreciated me for that work. I mean, uh, to get nominated for a project is an achievement by itself. And then when I was offered this film, I was so excited because Red Chilies had joined hands with Drisham, yeah. Drisham Films. And Drisham Films also likes to make a lot of passion, film with a lot of passion. Yeah. You know, so it was a great combination of producers working together. So I think, uh, I just hope I keep getting more and more work from Red Chilies and Drisham. And if we have to ask you the three biggest uh, turning points of your career, what would they be for you? Turning points in my career, my God. The biggest turning point in my career was Obviously, the first film I did, it changed everything for me. Overnight, I was a star, I was a sensation, I was a craze, and it was, uh, it was just amazing. And the second turning point was when things started going down in my life. And uh, I started kind of gave up in my life, you know. So you, then, then eventually, Poster Boys happened to me. And that was a film, again, I was at that stage, even though that was made seven, eight years back, or six, I don't remember how many years back. I was trying to, now as an actor, try to do something different. Hmm. And for me, because of my personality, I've never been able to play small town characters. Yeah. So that was the opportunity where I got, thanks to Shriyas, who directed the film, who's a brilliant actor. He gave me the chance to do that. And uh, that was my turning point again, because that's when I realized that I have so much in me, hmm. you know, and then, Slowly, slowly, you know, Salman is a great friend. He gave me this big chance to do Race 3 and that uh, millions of people watched it. Then because of that, I got Houseful 4. Again, millions of people watched me. And then came Class of 83 and Ashram, one week after the other, yeah. and that just changed everything. Yeah. And uh, I think that was how my career has been moving and shaping up at the point. And I really have so much hope for Love Hostel because Love Hostel is again a film I'm very passionate about. I have really worked hard and I've tried to do my best. I had to learn Haryanvi for this film. So I sat and I did workshops. So I enjoyed it, you know, the whole, whole process of playing this character yeah. was something I always cherished. And you reunite with Abbas Mustan on uh, for a film which is your Netflix debut as well. How exciting is that? Like, because that See, the thing is, see, right now, again, Abbas Bhai Mustan Bhai are someone who I work the maximum yeah. with. But at this point, I just want to talk about Love Hostel mm -hmm. because I'm here to promote Love yeah. Hostel. And when the other films come, then I can talk about yeah. it. You know, I saw you, I'm cutting oh, you short yeah, of yeah. that because I, right now my, my baby is Love Hostel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have to talk about it. Yeah, course, yeah. <laughs> and oh, here you collaborate with Sanya and Vikrant. How was it working with them? Because when I spoke to them, they were like, they were too intimidated by you when on the set. I think I was uh, just excited to work with them because I've seen their work and how amazing actors they are. And I was really, you know, that's what makes a film is great casting. And I think Vikrant and Sanya have done such a great job in the film, you know, I mean, you, when you watch the film, you realize what I'm talking about. Yes, obviously I'm the senior actor and I, and uh, 
they definitely have high regards and respect for me and it feels strange because I still mentally I don't feel that old so I feel very strange when you know my co-actors come up to me and you know they talk to me about oh Bobby, Bobby sir and all that but it was really good fun working with them I think it was a great unit I enjoyed every moment not just with the actors but everybody from all the departments you know it was such a team effort and uh, working with even the technicians the light men you know everybody it has been a really good experience yeah. and you know this is a thriller and through your career you have done a lot of thrillers what are the factors that you look into a script while signing on for a thriller listen there are no factors it's like reading a book you like thrillers you start reading a thriller book and you won't enjoy it so it has to be good writing it has to be good characters it has to be depth in characters which you're reading and seeing on screen i think all those things combined together is something what makes me choose a project okay so there are no tick marks or points like that no no, no nothing at all Th things should just surprise you when you hear a subject or when you read a subject they sh things should surprise you you know because every storyline is very similar hmm. but it's how the writer writes it from his point of view and makes it more interesting you know it's a love story basically it's a love story yeah so and how many millions of love stories have been made in our industry and every love story doesn't work and there's certain which has become amazing you know and uh, this is a very different take on love story as you can see it's very gritty and very uh, not dark but it's just the way it's been shot so i think that's what makes it special all through your career if there is one film of yours which you think can be you know turned into a franchise your one character which deserves a spin off well now it's too late because uh, those films were made many years ago i think uh, soldier the film i did soldier could have been re made into a franchise the soldier then there was bichu yeah you know and there was badal they all were big hits so i think those could have been made into franchises but that was years back so if you make it now people won't relate to it correct yeah. <laughs> and uh, what next for you after love hostel in terms of lineup ahead i think uh, at the moment i am in discussion with a lot of people some interesting stuff is coming my way so once those things get finalized i'll speak about it because i never spoke about love hostel when i signed it yeah. you know so you always have to say and speak about things at the right time and last words on the film before signing off go watch it and uh, enjoy it because it's a very entertaining film i think uh, you'll enjoy the the star cast they have everybody's performed the characters so well and uh, there won't be a moment in the film where you'll feel bored because it has a great pace and it keeps you intrigued throughout perfect thank you so much it was lovely talking to you and wish you all the best for the film thanks man thank you yeah